give us the, you know, the layman's explanation of broadcast channels on Instagram and why that would be relevant or somebody watching this might want to consider that. Yeah. So broadcast channels are, it's a very unique platform that's built within Instagram and it's slowly being rolled out to the creator profiles within Instagram. So before we dive into it, if you could check on your phone, make sure you have a creator uh, profile, not a business one, not a personal, has to be creator. And we'll dive into like how to check to see if you have broadcast channels or not. But the high level of it is basically you create almost like this Facebook group community within Instagram. And every message you send through to it is going into people's direct inbox. So it's a one to many method form of uh, communication. So the way I use it is I, I attract all of these realtors into my broadcast channel. And every week I send out a, an update, whether it's on the market, social media tips, which is exactly what you guys are talking about. I funnel them into this group. And then I send out that message once a week, goes out to everyone, but in a form of one uh, DM through their inbox. All the way from the great North. Um, I want to allow these two gentlemen to introduce themselves. Cause we're going to talk about something that, um, they brought to my attention actually. And I, I've seen it and I've been a part of it, but I haven't really paid a ton of attention to it until, um, Tom and I got connected and I started learning more about Instagram broadcast channels. So let's start with the, the intro, Tom, if you want to go first intro, who, who you are, what do you do? And then, uh, we'll take uh, Brandon. Yeah, absolutely. So Tom here. Hey everyone. Hope you guys are well. Um, like you said, Jeff out from uh, up North here in Canada. And as I'm listening, it's, it's pretty funny because a lot of the stuff we do is very, very similar. Like it's, Brandon and I, we we did, went down the whole rabbit hole of uh, Google My Business not too long ago as well. Um, and we uh, merged businesses last September, I think. Yeah, last September. And from there, we really wanted to build out more of like a social presence. And from day one, we really had in mind, like we just wanted to target realtors. Like we didn't want to build this huge following on social to get direct to consumer leads. Like although those are nice. We were just like, from day one, let's just target realtors, build up our portfolio of realtors, get those warm referrals in. And uh, that kind of led us into two different strategies that uh, we'll pretty much talk about today with Instagram. Awesome. Brandon, want to introduce yourself? Sure thing. So my name is Brandon Love, uh, business partners with Tom Moffitt. Um, so yeah, we, we've been sharing a lot of our strategies on our podcast, Commission Breath, and that's where... We kind of connected with Jeff there, and we're happy to come on this call today and unpack some of those for you and do a deep dive on it because we feel like the best way to learn is to teach. And it sounds like a lot of you have that same mindset as well in your businesses. So I absolutely love that. By the way, what a great name for a podcast, right? Commission Breath. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Who's the audience of that that you guys are targeting? It's all mortgage brokers and loan officers. So it's all okay. geared towards them. And then we have found that over the past couple of episodes, we've had more realtors reach out because they're listening as well. A lot of the strategies carry over. So a little bit of crossover there. Awesome. Yeah. And so we can find that on various podcast syndication platforms, Commission Breath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. everywhere. And anywhere you listen to your podcast, YouTube, et cetera. What part of Canada are you in? Toronto. We're just outside of the Toronto area. Yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to do is this is, um, or you can do this as well, Tom, but I was, uh, I was experimenting before this call and I, I can do the, uh, you know, screen mirroring from my mobile phone to your account. Yeah. So why don't we start with this before I do that? Why don't you, if you could just give us the, you know, the layman's explanation of broadcast channels on Instagram and why that would be relevant or somebody watching this might want to consider that. Yeah. So broadcast channels are, it's a very unique platform that's built within Instagram and it's slowly being rolled out to the creator profiles within Instagram. So before we dive into it, if you could check on your phone, make sure you have a creator uh, profile, not a business one, not a personal has to be creator. And we'll dive into like how to check to see if you have broadcast channels or not, but the high level of it is basically you create almost like this Facebook group community within Instagram and every message you send through to it is going into people's direct inbox. So it's a one to many method form of uh, communication. So the way I use it is I, 
I attract all of these realtors into my broadcast channel. And every week I send out a, an update, whether it's on the market, social media tips, which is exactly what you guys are talking about. I funnel them into this group and then I send out that message once a week, goes out to everyone, but in a form of one uh, DM through their inbox. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna uh, attempt to share my mobile phone um, while I'm sharing a Zoom screen. How's this gonna be fun? Let's try this, see if I can do this. Share screen, Google Chrome, all right. See, the whole idea behind it is our call to action might be a bit different than you guys, but it's going to work very well for you because what I do is I funnel them into this group. My call to action is to get their email addresses. And then from there, I nurture that nurture them through email. And for you guys, you can do the same, but it could be like an invite to your, uh, whatever you're pitching, whether it's Google business or your, uh, whatever classes you're teaching, that could be the call to action. You could put that zoom link right in the channel for all of them to join every week or however long you're doing it. Are you seeing your profile on the screen? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So um, what you'll see for people who have a broadcast channel is right down below here where it says mortgages for realtors. That is the link that I would tap to, to join or jump into. And I'm already joined your, uh, your broadcast channel. But uh, what I was doing is I was going back through your content and I'm going to, I'm going to run on this for a second, Tom, and then you guys can yeah. ch chime in on this, but you can see at the top, he's got 276 members in there. Okay. And I was scrolling through your content. Actually, it brought me to your latest post uh, every time I log in, but I wanted to go back a bit. So pardon the scroll on the screen for a moment, guys, but I wanted to give you some context in terms of the type of content that you can put oh. in this thing. Um, here you see a link to his podcast. Uh, there was one that stood out for me. You've got um, videos, yeah, so one-off video messages. What's the what's the max length on those? Do you know? I believe those are sixty seconds, just like any DM video message on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I've only done a couple of those. I found the Loom link more effective because I like to go a bit longer than sixty seconds. So I'll share my screen on those ones. But those are for like. If you wanted to do like a quick message, like an update on um, the Fed announcement or something like that, you can bang that out and just put that video right in there. Yep. And the cool thing is you have so many different types of features uh, that you can put in that channel, like edit, like voice, voice note, video, polls. You can do all of that in this group. All right. So here's an a Loom example. This is three things in three minutes. What are you typically doing in that? So I'll either talk about, I try to do a variety in those three minutes it usually goes out to five minutes but that's kind of like a, a running joke with it right. um i'll touch on market updates i'll touch on social media tips that are very uh granular and specific and any business development stuff that i can share with my realtors i'll share email templates uh any social media templates i'll share and i used to put it right in the actual group mm -hmm. but then i had uh, a couple of mortgage brokers up in canada join and and kept snagging them. So I, uh, now it's actually better because what I do is the call to action is I have them DM me after I say, Hey, if you want the template, send me a DM and I'll send it to you over email. Even though I can just send them a link over Canva. I want the email address. So let's, by the way, I want to pause on that strategy for a second, because when somebody is joining your broadcast channel, I mean, if they have their email displayed in their profile, you can get it there, but that's not a guarantee. Um, so you're using the strategy to be able to build your own opted in list, essentially of real estate agents. Yeah. Cause then when I nurture them through my Friday email, it's, it's not, it's not as bad as pulling their email off of like online. And they're going to see the email come in and be like, how did this guy even get my email? They right. know me, they know, they knew that they gave me their email address. So I've never had any realtor on my realtor list asked to be uh, opted out of it. Okay. So I'm going to go back to more current. I uh, just wanted to show you guys some of the data or the uh, content examples. You know, I love that you're essentially kind of, you know, this is a, a community you've built. It's like, and your your communication is very kind of casual and friendly, right? Morning, realtor fam, everything you need to know about rates, you know, blah, 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 down below, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you can do polls as well. Yeah, you guys might think that one's pretty cool. I asked them like, what do you want out of this group? And like by a landslide, social media was the topic that won. And that just reinstated the fact that they're they're hungry for social media stuff. 
which exact is exactly what you guys are doing. And then this here is, is this an image? Yeah, that was uh yeah, that's a Canva template that they can use and tweak. Oh, it's a link to the Canva template and that's why the yeah. image is showing up. Okay. Interesting. Is anybody getting some pretty cool ideas? And I was even thinking while you guys were chatting uh, at the start of this, you could even pitch this to them as a class. Like if you have your own channel, you start learning how it works. You could then pitch this to the realtor like, hey, this is how you can start a broadcast channel. This is why it'd be a benefit to you and your business. And I actually had a realtor reach out to me this week and he's in this and he called me because he he had his brokerage uh, had someone like a realtor go on and do training about this. So he was just picking my brain as to like, Hey, how can you start this? Like, what are the things you've experienced with it? So there's a market out there. Most people don't really know about this feature yet, but it's getting rolled out and more popular as the months go on. And I think, uh, realtors can use this for like off market deals in their local market. Like the, the possibilities are endless with it. Absolutely. So I'm going to pause screen sharing for a moment. If I can, and I want to unpack some of the other things you shared with me. Stop mirroring. How's that, guys? I was able to do uh, screen sharing while we're in the Zoom. I feel pretty proud of myself. Genius. Right? Genius. Okay, you had shared with me, and I, and I know we got questions going in the chat, so I want to address those too. Mm -hmm. um, how has, when did you start the broadcast channel? I started this in September. Yeah, September of last year. And now you have 276. Um, yeah. How are you getting people in there? Yeah, so uh, the strategy is there. it's all through DMs. So what I do is I'll follow a certain amount of people per day and it's all realtors. So I started off having a VA do this and then he went over the limit for Instagram and kind of had me in the, the shit list. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going to do this on a manual uh, basis. So what I do is I do... Every hour I'll do 10 realtor followings, um, which my wife does for me now. So she'll follow 10 realtors an hour. And then 30% of those 10 realtors on average are going to follow you back. And then that's when you send them a video DM. And the video DM is all you're saying is, hey, Tom here, just wanted to quickly say thanks for the follow. Uh, I also want to take a second and invite you to my broadcast channel. What is it? Well, it's for you specifically as a realtor. I'm going to drop the link down here below. I have this, this, and this in it and go check out the content. There's already a bunch there. And is that a one-off for a customized for every realtor? Yeah. Yeah. So you're naming them like, Hey Tom, Hey Kevin. Hey, right. So they know it's not automated. Exactly. And the conversion rate on that is uh 30% of people you send that message to will opt into it on, on like my stats. Right. Yeah. What's come of it so far for you in terms of engagement conversations and, and deals? Yeah. So the cool thing is I'm just in growth mode right now. So I haven't even taken the time to like circle back and direct message them to hop on a call. So what I'm doing is I'm growing the channel, getting email addresses. And through that, which I didn't expect was realtors uh, sending me leads without even hopping on a call with them, hopping on a meeting. And so I've gotten cold, like, or not cold leads. I've gotten leads out of nowhere from that. I've gotten a few meetings just from natural conversations with them uh, reaching out to me. And I think uh, about 30 ish emails. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Questions, comments, thoughts. Is anyone here already doing a broadcast channel? Hey, Tom, I a question for you. Yeah. So I'm not sure if you, you're in Canada, so I'm not sure if you guys have stricter rules when it comes to texting than we do in the United States, but do you guys also incorporate the reach app into all of those? You take all those agents, 267, and put them into the reach app where now you can be able to text them videos as well and and you know, send them send them whatever you want via text. Do you guys have any rules like that to prevent that? Brandon, yeah. you're a big text guy. Yeah, Canada does have like um, privacy rules and, and direct contact laws anti-spam legislation on that kind of thing so unless someone opts in to receive texts you can't send them anything so there's not really we don't i i've never heard of the reach app maybe it's a thing here but I, i've never heard of it but like direct text marketing gets you on a, a pretty nasty list if you do it without 
their their consent. Without Trudeau's consent, got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it has to go through the filter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, makes sense. Yes, but like, te- yeah, texting is awesome. Uh, one way we do it is when we nurture them through email. We do Friday emails, which is some of the same content that we're putting in the channel, but it's more longer form videos with more personalized touches. And we send that one to one, but it's through another app called Yam. If you've ever heard of that, that connects to Gmail. And we do a video in there every Friday and, and that's our, our nurturing list. And then Brandon, you're a big call guy still. I'm just strictly DMs now, but we have our both different styles of connecting with realtors and, and nurturing that. But the broadcast channel is a way to funnel them in, get their information and then go from there. And uh, yeah, that it that's one method we use on Instagram. And then uh, I guess once we, we chat more about this, we can dive into the second one for those of you that don't have access to it yet. Yeah, I see I see some questions coming in. Someone saying I'm set to entrepreneur, don't see creator not having access. Um, that's something funny enough. Tom has access. I don't have access. So we've been forced to pivot that on my client and realtor list and and see how we can get some of those those leads still in and nurture those people. So if you don't have access, it's one of those things that unfortunately Instagram hasn't rolled out to everyone. I've tried to get it myself in different ways. I've messaged Instagram, not very responsive and not a lot of action in that respect. Um, But what you can do is take those realtors and add them as a close friend on Instagram. So you can mark them as a close friend. Then anything you share to your story, share directly to close friends. It'll prioritize going to them and they'll be like, they'll see a little green circle around it that shows it's exclusive to them, makes them feel like more of the inner circle that way. And then what I just do is I nurture more over like the ones who I do have consent to text, I'll text or call them and then have some of the the conversations more long form that way. So it is a bit more of a bottleneck and a pain in the butt to do from, um, you know, a one to many perspective, but that's the workaround for the time being until Instagram rolls it out to everyone. Yeah. And um, to be clear too, it has nothing to do with entrepreneur either. That's just the category you're in of business, creator, or personal accounts. So you'd have to go into your settings and make sure you're toggled on to creator instead of the other two. So it's not the category. It's not mortgage brokers, entrepreneurs, it's not that stuff. And then once you do figure out, or once you do convert to creator, everyone has access to creator to figure that out, to answer Jackie's question, you go into your inbox area so your dms and then you click the compose button at the top and you should have a a a section that says create broadcast channel here i'll get back to doing a screen mirroring here again this might be helpful for people so give me a second to bring this up mobile phone screen mirroring share again all right, you guys seeing it? Somebody uh, say yes. not yet. Not yet. All right. Make sure I'm sharing the Zoom. And second. Pro. It'll come up here in a second. Just line. There we go. Now you're seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Go to Instagram. All right. So I'm in my Instagram account. All right. Um, sorry, Jeff. Sorry to cut in. You can just see your uh, your YouTube thing over top is overlaying on it. Your countdown. Oh, true. It's that. I can bring my mouse back to life. <laughs> Get back into it. So just so you know, guys, if you have an iPhone, you can share right from your phone. When you're doing your zooms or whatever. Practice it a few times though. All right. You seeing me pull up my Instagram now? There we yeah. go. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. So um obviously I'm in my kind of you know home profile, whatever. I go to the top that the hamburger icon, those three lines up at the very top, right? And then you go to, I believe, settings and privacy. And you guys can correct me if I'm wrong or right, but you see where it says for professionals towards the middle. Now I've obviously already set up my, my account previously. So 
See where it says switch account type towards the bottom? Right there. Uh, I have a creator account currently. So my options are personal or business. So that's where if you go to switch account type and you are seeing, right, creator, then you ha you don't you haven't selected creator account. Does that sound accurate? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah, that's it. And, and most of the time it's that you've set it up as business and are switching to creator. So someone had asked about music. Usually actually once you're off business and you're on creator, you get access to more music. So you can put all those T Swift songs on. <laughs> all right. And then what was your, your comment about uh, how do you know if you have a broadcast channel? Where do I go? Yeah, so if you that? click the home button mm -hmm. on the bottom left and then your messages icon in the top, right. You see that compose button in the top right? Yeah, right there, the pencil icon, very top right. Yeah, you should, once mouse. you click see that. This right here? You guys can see my mouse, right? Circling over this? Yep, you're good. Okay, I just want to draw people's attention, their eye to it. So I hit that, and now I can create a broadcast right there where it says- yeah, There it is, broadcast, yeah. Which I obviously have not done yet. Hey, Jeff, can you go back three steps for those of us that are a little slower here in Oregon? <laughs> <laughs> sure, man. Uh, all right. So I hit my home button in the bottom yep. left corner. Right. Yep. And then up the top, right. Where that message, Whoa, Whoa what's up there? Cold plunge <laughs> 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 makes me want to buy one. All right. So then I hit that message icon at the top, right. And then there's this pencil icon up here Yep. at the top, right. If I hit that, then there's create a broadcast channel right here. Got it. And if I tap on that, it's going to take me through the prompts, get started, blah, 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 which I will do that when I'm offline. Yeah. So, and I know we're talking about realtors, but you could even do this for, for consumers. Like if you want to go direct to consumer, you can do like a first time home buyer, like whatever your niche is, real estate investors, you can do that. Like the possibilities are endless there, but um, that's broadcast channel. Uh, we can go on to close friend strategy unless someone wants to chat a bit more about that. I do want to talk about close friend strategy for sure. I'm glad you brought that up. Um, does it make sense for me to keep the profile open while we talk about that? Um, uh, yeah, first, yeah, I guess for a second, uh, basically close friend strategy. If you don't have the broadcast channel, this is what I was doing before the broadcast channel is it, it's still another way to get more realtor partners. And the way I do it is when you add, like, do you guys know what the close friends, uh, setting is in, in Instagram? So when you click that following button, I don't know if you could do it through your screen share or not, but there should be an arrow next to follow. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, add to close friends list, that star right there. So once you do that, you're going to create this list that are called your close friends. And anything you post, you have the option, whether it's a story or an actual individual post, a reel, you, can, you have the option to just push it to your close friends and nobody else. So the way I was doing what it was, I was adding every single realtor that I followed on my list. So I had like 600 and something on my list. And anytime that I wanted a realtor to see something, I would put them not hey, on that close oh, friend list. There's, there's James and Travis coming up in my feed. <laughs> little, little Bradley Cooper action. Nice. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the, the way we did it was... Uh, when those realtors see the green circle around a story or a green circle around a content piece, they're attracted to that. Cause like, why the heck is this guy adding me on my close friends list? So they click on it and you're going to have a strong hook with whatever you're doing. And you're going to make it clear that it's for them as a realtor. So you're going to say like realtors, listen up. And then you get into your point and then that's going to create conversations through DM and same strategy. You just don't have the actual broadcast channel itself. Okay. So the close friends thing, let's think about that in the context of teaching classes. My strategy would be anybody who shows up for your class, you go to their Instagram and add them as a close friend. Once you're connected, once you, do you have to be obviously friends or following each other to do that? I assume. Um, you, I think you can add, I think you can add anyone on your close friends list that you are following. I don't think they have to yeah. follow back. I could be wrong on that, but okay. you obviously want them to follow back because then they'll seal it, right? Yeah, now, I mean, look at, look, just be careful with this, right? I mean, if there's zero connection or engagement, I mean, it depends. Uh, if, but by the way, here's what I would, I would do. 
if I'm teaching a class, you know, and I'm thinking about like, is it relevant to do this even when it's not an Instagram related class? I think perhaps, but I would probably be bold enough to let people know, Hey guys, just so you know, everybody who's here today, you're going to get a DM from me or a follow on Instagram. And I'm going to add you to my close friends list because did you like today's content? Would you like more of this type of stuff? And so you can either do that for your close friends thing or do that to kind of promote your broadcast channel. So if you do want to do a broadcast channel, obviously you can promote that in the class itself. But a lot of, you know, what are we talking about here? We're talking about continuing the engagement in the community following the class. Some people have a Facebook group and they do really well with that. Some people don't want to do a Facebook group. Some people are more IG, right? And if that's you, then this is your version of that. Yeah. And I would even add, if you don't even want to do either strategy, I think the biggest takeaway would be if like DMs are by far like an underutilized thing in, in both of our, well, in our industries, the mortgage industry. And I, I feel like nobody sends you video messages. And if you can do that, you follow realtors, they follow you back and you send these video messages out. Your call to action could be whatever you want. It can be to your next class but you, you do that over time. Like the first DM could be like, Hey, Mr. Realtor, thanks for following me. Just checked out your profile. I love that post you did about one, two, three sunset drive, really unique, really cool. And then you follow back on that in a, in a week or two, and you, you can put them on this list to, to know, to go back to them and then invite them to whatever your call to action is. Exactly. And just to add a layer to that, if you are actively using a lot of call and text already, and you're taking time to go to this person's profile and add them to their page, take a few notes when you're there. So are they like um, a San Francisco fan? I can see the the hat in the background, Jeff. Um, are they, you know, a big American flag? Um, whatever the little thing about them is that you can write down and have that note. When you call or text them, try to draw something back to that. And then it really starts to make them feel like, hey, you know what? He has me in his close friends. He actually cares about me. You get a little bit of reciprocity there and you build and nurture the relationship that way. It doesn't happen in one DM. It happens on the, you know, the 30th, 40th text call follow-up where they start to feel very close to you and more than just a business relationship. Okay, a couple of good questions coming in. One was how many broadcast channels can you have? I don't know if you guys know. I think you can have more than one. I'm pretty yeah. sure you can. I don't know the max on it, but I, I think you can have more than one. And then the next question is, any recommendations on first post in the broadcast channel before sending the invite link out? So you have some so, apps in there, yeah. Yeah, the one thing <laughs> you should know is when you send out or when you create the channel, it sends out a link to all of your followers, like whether you like it or not, it sends it out to everyone, which sucks and it doesn't because when I did that, I had no, like, it was early on when this thing came out and I created this channel and it sent out to everyone. I was like, my wife was like, what is that thing you just sent me? I'm like, what do you mean? I didn't send you anything. And then I go back and there was already 40 people, 40 realtors in my channel. I was like, whoa, this is cool. Um, so it does that right away. So what I'd recommend doing is having at least two to three posts or content stuff ready to go. When you create the channel, you don't have the option to put it in there before you invite people, but you can just copy and paste it right away mm -hmm. um, into your channel right when you send that out. That's what I would do. And is there actually a link that you can share externally outside of Instagram to that broadcast channel? Yeah, so you can copy the link in um, when you are when you have the broadcast channel created. There's a little hub area where you can customize the theme, add an intro video and copy the link. And what I do is I copy the link and I'll send it over text to a realtor if they don't, if they're not part of it, or I'll send it over email in my Friday emails. I hyperlink it, join my broadcast channel. Hmm. Very cool. And of course, by the way, for the, you know, we use QR codes here. Uh, very simple, easy thing to do is add a QR That's code cool. to your PowerPoint slide or your image, you know, something like that. Can okay. you remove followers from your broadcast? No, you can't remove people. And and the weird thing is you can't even see the followers itself. You can only see the follower count, but the way you can see who's in it is by posting some sort of interactive or any post for that matter. If they react to it with any emoji or they, they like it, you can see who that person is. So if you go into my channel, you can see out of the hundred and something people that voted on that poll I did not too long ago, I have that list that I'm going to go back to. 
And every realtor that voted on those things, let's say you are a realtor that voted for social media on what you want to see in the channel. I'm going to be circling back and doing a one-to-one -one DM video saying, Hey, I saw you voted for social media in the channel. Like what is it specifically that you want help on? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good to know. Yeah. I actually, one of my most loyal real estate partners is someone who found me on Instagram. Right. And I think watched videos and got to know me there. And so she's still, you know, a good friend, but it's just, yeah, there's so much value there and you don't, you don't realize it sometimes. Well, it's like, you know, we've talked about before, and this is why I love this conversation. Travis had mentioned this early on when, when he joined our community and all the content he and James are putting out there, you know, and I don't want to go down the rabbit hole discussion about consumer direct and all that versus realtors, but Travis had, had previously obviously established that he had grew his referrals by being on Instagram and by putting the content out there. And so many people come to Instagram, for example, with the idea of like, I'm going to blow up my consumer direct. Hmm. Maybe, right? But like, who's really on there? We know realtors are on there for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that's exactly how we used it is just shift the, the script. You're still posting content for consumers, but in the lens of having it so it's shareable from a realtor's perspective, because that's the fastest way to scale it. Yeah. So and it's Mark funny because you'll, you'll see the, uh, the channel numbers go up randomly with like some days I don't send out DMs. And I'll see like two people join. I'm like, oh, that's weird. You don't know who it is, but sometimes it could be like a realtor telling another realtor friend to join, or it could be a mortgage broker. You never know. But there's a like I'd say the people in my group are 90% are realtors. Mm. Yeah. So Mark's asking a question to talk about the Yam app again and how it integrates with Gmail. Did you say something about a Gmail integration with Yam? Yeah. So it, Yam, there's an extra M on the end. It stands for oh. yet another mail merge. And what you do is you build one spreadsheet, first name, last name, email, whatever you want to put in there, and you're going to export to Gmail. And then you type your draft in Gmail. When you go to back to your spreadsheet, you export it there. When you send it out, it sends it one-to-one. -one. So if I'm sending Jeff an email, it's going to say, hey, Jeff, and then it's going to have the body of my email, my sign off. But really, I'm Every week I'm blasting this to 150 plus realtors. So they're all getting this one-to-one -one message and it looks like it's, it's, I've taken the time to send it to them, but I've just wrote that one email that works for, for each one of them and then exported it from, from through Yam. Okay, great. I think I already have an app that does that. So the, the whole purpose is the one-to-one. -one, so we don't yeah. need it if we've already got an app to do this. Okay, great. Yeah, there, there's a lot of versions of it. We just like Yam because it removes... Um, the opt-out subscription kind of stuff um, and makes it so it feels like, hey, it's just... It's oh, just, that's cool. Yeah, just me shooting you a quick message. Yeah, like you, it like if you get an email from like MailChimp or any other CRM, you know it's a CRM email versus like a one-to-one. -one. And the way Yam works is it sends it through your Gmail. So it is a, a true one-to-one -one message, but you can do it at scale through the actual Yam integration in your Gmail and that's what we use. We actually have the video embedded in the draft and then it just fires it out to our realtors on every Friday. Hmm. Very interesting. Any big things coming up next for you guys strategy-wise regarding uh, broadcasts or anything else? Um, so I'll, I'll go, Brandon. Uh, for me, it's funny because it, it's kind of coming full circle to the timing of me uh, connecting with you, Jeff, is I want to at some point create some sort of like accountability group for realtors for social media something along those lines where i can invite those people into this this uh bi-weekly call or uh, you guys know better than i do but that's kind of like the way i want to to veer it into because i have this big list of people in there but i haven't necessarily had a big call to action to it yet so that's what i'm going to do with the broadcast channel and uh brandon i know you have uh different different approaches with what you're doing. Yeah. So I, I'm letting Tom kind of carry this strategy forth here on, on getting the realtors in. And then I'm building out more of that nurturing campaign for once they act, actively send the leads and then doing more of a lead tracker sort of type email uh, mindset piece to that. And that goes out every week and updates any leads that have come to our brokerage that way. So Tom's kind of getting getting them hooked in. And then once he has them, I'm really getting them addicted to our process. Love it. Love it. 
Good stuff, guys. How many people like this conversation today? Yeah. Who's going to start a broadcast channel? Switch to creator mode. Love it. Hey, really appreciate you guys being here. Yeah, our pleasure. Yeah, Thanks no for problem. having us. Thanks for having us. Um, and everybody, if you don't know, uh, make sure you go follow them. I think you guys both put your Instagram profiles in the chat. If not, go ahead and do it one more time. Um, so people can follow you and DM you and join your channel and all that kind of jazz. Um, okay. So before we wrap up, uh, I wanted to just give you, and, and by the way, Tom and, uh, um, Brandon, you're welcome to hang out here. I'm just going to do some, some, a uh, couple minutes of housekeeping. Uh, but otherwise I look forward to connect with you, uh, offline after this call as well to stay in touch. Um, I wanted to uh, bring note to you guys of a couple quick announcements, then I'll let you go. Um, we have pushed out a updated chat GPT landing page funnel for you. Um, it's really similar to the previous one. I just made, had somebody make some design enhancements or improvements to the overall look and feel. So that's getting pushed out today. Where do you find that? Well, where you find your other funnels and forms, right? Left sidebar funnels and forms. There's a new folder. And we're now going to have a, a folder just for chat GPT um, because we're going to continue to have extensions of that class, right? Different versions of that class with different topics, one-offs and things like that, much like we did with 10 ways to get listings. And we have one, you know, idea, multiple ideas that come out of that larger class. So, but right here, you can see there's the new ChatGPT event funnel. Um, and while I'm here, pay attention to this. This is a good teaching moment for everybody. If you ever come into your funnels, right? And you see this right here, please add a domain. Um, and we're gonna have a video on this, but I just want you to notice this. If you ever come here and you see, please add a domain, the very quick fix to this is you go to settings right here and you go to domain right here and you should see a drop down of domains. We have two domains for you. One, the MyGen Accelerator, that's for the newsletter. So you don't want to create a funnel page that has the MyGen Accelerator domain. That's a whole separate thing for the newsletter, which as you guys know, we're rolling out. Your domain is gonna be referencing class or classes. So just know that, right? When you see this in the list of drop downs, it's gonna be MyGen class or classes.com. And then I hit save, then I'm gonna hit back. Once that thing is saved and now I've got a domain, right? And what does that mean? That means I can actually look at that page live and click that little pop out button there. So there's been just, like I said, some design enhancements to this thing in terms of layout and th stuff like that. Um, but those should be all post pushed out to your folders uh, later today. Uh, and then secondly, I'm gonna stop the share. Some of you had the, uh, Pleasure of already uh, conversing with um, my new operations support manager, Kalika. Um, that's part of what she does on the Wednesday calls. Um, so if you haven't registered for those, do so. They're in the, the, the post is in the Facebook group every Wednesday at 11 Pacific, 2 Eastern. I know the time has been off on that thing in terms of the email, but it's 11 Pacific, 2 Eastern every single Wednesday. Um, we have a new support email address that goes direct to her. And I just put it in the chat support at myagentclasses.com. So when you have tech questions, issues, help, something's broken, send it direct to her. She will get on it and CC me as well. She will, by the way, you don't have to CC me. Those are the only two big announcements I have right now. So the minute that's left, open forum. Hey, Jeff, with the uh, chat GPT thing where I was going to do that for my first class, should I will it automatically update to the new form or do I have to go back in and redo everything? The only thing you'd have to swap out is the actual uh, landing page link. Um, if you want to choose the alternate landing page link. So let me just go back to the screen share and show you. All right. So let's go to agent class setup and let's choose the chat GPT class here from the drop down. And what you would want to do is just replace this landing page link with the new link for that updated landing page. Okay. And I have to get, I have to get that through funnels and forms. Okay. Co correct. Yeah. All right. Uh, and you were asking, by the way, timeline to promote your classes. Did you get that? Yeah, question? I, I didn't, but I think I'm just going to do it on, I don't know if I should do it Sunday night. I mean, that's like 16 days away. I just didn't know if there was a time where people finally get better. Well, response initially, like, I don't want to send it out this afternoon. I feel like a Friday afternoon for agents, it's going to get buried. Your class is March 5th, right? Yes, sir. It's uh two weeks from Tuesday. 
Yeah. And so uh, there's a, it's a 10 day window. Um, uh, so there's three emails with a gap of two days. It's actually more like shorter than that. Um, so know that they're only going to get three invitations. Right. And that there's two days between each email that goes out. So I would typically use a roughly a 10 day window from the, from the first email to the date of your class. Okay. Maybe a week from Sunday. All right. I'll figure it out. All right. Thanks. Uh huh. Any other questions? Does anybody want a broadcast channel class now that you've seen this? Yeah. Some heads nodding that you would go teach and yep. share with realtors. All right. Cool. All right, guys, that's it. It's Friday. I don't want to keep you. We got work to do. So do I. So thanks very much. See you on the next one. Bye for now.